Hi, I'm Heidi Crowley, and I teach at Gray Academy of Jewish Education in Winnipeg, Manitoba. I teach grade seven all the way up to 11, and sometimes 12 at any given year. And I have been using Kids Boost Immunity really since the beginning, so for several years. And the reason that I keep using it year after year after year is because of how the students react to it. And I know that there's so many things that come across our desk that have really good material and content, but I find with Kids Boost Immunity, what it does is not only does it have that incredible depth of content, but then at the same time, the kids are motivated in their learning because they are actually helping people and helping the people that they're learning about. They're learning about people in the world who don't have access to vaccines. And instead of just learning about it and thinking to themselves, that's very unfair. And in a few years, when I'm old enough, I'll try to help. No, today in the classroom, you're gonna help someone. And as soon as the students learn that, as soon as they feel that empowerment, it's a completely different kind of activity. The great thing about Kids Boost Immunity is that I use it all the way from grade seven to grade 10. The content is challenging. The ideas really, really make them think critically. There's no easy click, 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 and the students learn that really quickly and they get really invested. But you also see that year after year, the students wanna keep doing it because it feels good to help people in the world. You can do this as a standalone activity where you think, you know what, as an introduction to our topic, we're gonna to do this. You can do it as a review activity at the end of a topic to review content, but you can also do it throughout a unit so that as you're learning these tough topics or as you're learning about things that maybe don't seem very fair to the kids, they have that immediacy of, but we can help, but we can fix it, but we can do something. And so because of that, it's an essential tool in my classroom. I use it all the time. And if I don't use it, the kids will remind me to use it. So to me, that's a successful tool to use.